So Ian, our uh, our realist, tell us uh, tell us what the current plan is. Uh, plan is to build a weldment, weldment, test it with this truck, and if it fails, then we go to the hospital. Okay, we go to the hospital. That's that's bold. So, so to backtrack a little bit, what we're trying to do here is we're going on the Daily Planet next week and they want us to do another big feat of strength. We can't take the Mini there because, as you can see, it's not exactly roadworthy at the moment. And the big steel weldment we made to pick it up with, also not very easy to transport. So we even had this great idea of why don't we pick up a truck? Because trucks have trailer hitches and we can actually design and build a little weldment that you just plug in and then you, know, you can pick up the truck. The problem is, this truck weighs twice as much as the Mini Cooper. It's a big truck, even without Ryan in it. So, we did a few basic math calculations over here on the whiteboard, and we calculated it to be about 1,400 pounds lifting force required at the back, whereas the Mini Cooper, we think, was around seven or 800 pounds. Now, the lifting strength of the cylinders is 1,600 pounds, so technically we're still in the clear. But the problem is, that's not really the way the cylinders were designed to be used. And there is a small chance that they could buckle if any of the force is not directed straight down the shaft. <laughs> so, there's a bit of a risk there because hypothetically, if one of those cylinders buckled or if the shaft cracked and split apart, it could like, I don't know, go through my leg or something, which would be bad and then I'd actually need an exoskeleton. But you know, full disclosure, if that happened, I probably would build a better exoskeleton because you know, the greatest drive for invention is necessity, right? So <laughs> if I need new legs, I'm gonna make me new legs. So there's always that. I like that hashtag bright side that you threw in there. Exactly. You yeah. know, if you do need new legs. Oh, great. Well, you happen to be working on, technically speaking, new legs. So I, I think what the plan will be is tomorrow we're gonna go to the steel store, we're gonna buy a bunch, bunch of steel, and we're going to build this weldman, and then we're going to test the exoskeleton, but not with me in it. So we're going to have to kind of brace the legs in a way, probably with some clamps or wood or something, to, to uh, simulate a human being in between, and see if it can lift the truck, and see if it's actually putting any strain on the system that we deem unsafe. Right. And if see it looks good, then hopefully we can just drive the Daily Planet, drive right into the studio, plug in our trailer hitch, pick it up, go home. Maybe. Beautiful. So um, the idea that I really liked was armor around your legs or the cylinder to stop it from shattering yeah, into your that, bones. Yeah, that's the other option. We could, we could armor my legs so if there was a catastrophic uh, pneumatic cylinder failure, my legs would be safe. Or alternatively, we could armor the outside of the cylinders so if the cylinders, basically the same thing. Or we could just get like a suit of medieval armor or something. That would, that would kind of be cool. I mean, Iron Man <laughs> is pretty armored, so yeah. yeah. Do you have anything to add here? That won't work. <laughs> That's a scary amount of pressure in those things. Indeed. All right. Well, I really hope those don't shatter on you. Thank you. I'm, I'm now more on board with this testing it without you inside idea. I, I'm, I'm still really annoyed about the whole fact that if we do go there and do the test and it does explode and you need to make yourself an exoskeleton, they're going to own the footage. <laughs> We're going to bring our own camera, just, just in case. case. Nice. We're going to set that up so we have our own footage. Cause and we're going to upload that shit right away, like in the hospital, not in the hospital, <laughs> in the ambulance, I'm going to be on my phone <laughs> uploading that video to YouTube before Daily Plant even gets it on a computer. Oh my goodness. So, I, I think we'll be fine. James is just screaming and they're like, James, are you in pain? No, the upload speed is so slow. <laughs> Love it. All right, anything else? I think that's, that's uh, I think the that's update. Oh. In other news, uh, the big test video is doing pretty well on the internet. It's going somewhat viral, I don't know. Um, hopefully we'll see some channel growth and be able to take this channel to new levels and maybe you guys will get to see me try and fly like Iron Man. If we crack 100,000 subscribers at this. <laughs> All right, so you heard it here, guys. There's your, uh, there's your incentive. Crack that number and maybe this man will fly like Iron Man. <laughs>